Hey lovely people, it is Agola Baya. If you're new to my channel, I say welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for turning back in. I'm sure you clicked on this video because of the title. And yes, I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this look here. This is my version of... This is how I achieve my Bantu knot out. And this is the result of it. But if you want to see how I go from this... To this <laughs> then stay tuned but before we dive right into it don't forget to hit the subscribe button I know a couple of you have been watching this my video you will click on my video you will keep coming and coming and coming but you don't want to subscribe why eh? it does not cost anything it costs zero comma zero zero dollars euros naira CDs yen Whatever your currency is, me, I don't know. But it's free, free of charge. Nobody's going to ask you to pay any monthly uh, subscription fee. No. So why are you not subscribing? Eh? Okay, now that I have appealed to you. Oh yeah, cool, cool, subscribe. I'm waiting. I'm patient, I can wait, I can wait. Yes. Okay, you've done it. Congratulations, you are now part of the family. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, clap for yourself. You did well. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> and also whilst you are at it, okay, don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you're notified when I upload my new video, okay? If you don't hit the notification bell, you might not know when my video is gonna go on. But once you hit the notification bell, the day I post my videos which is usually on Sundays you're gonna get a notification that Obaya has posted a new video then you can come and watch okay and also check me out on Instagram now without further ado let's get right into this video ten. <laughs> video ten. let's get right into the video oh. <laughs> So I start off with one week old twist. These twists are stretched, so it's easier for me to work with. I start off by unraveling the twists course being careful when unraveling the ends I split that section into two because it was a thicker section so I'll work with one section at a time I moisturize my hair with water I moisturize my hair with water what is water <laughs> and then I proceed to moisturize my hair with the aloe vera gel after that I add the Anchaki's curl maintenance and I don't use much of the product I use a little bit of each product okay so that it is not too heavy and on top of that, I add my shea butter, my shea butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on top of that, to seal everything in, to make sure that my hair is going to be extra shiny, extra soft and extra moisturized, I seal everything in with my olive oil. I then go ahead and split that section into two and begin twisting my hair. When doing this, make sure that the section you're working with is properly detangled. If the section is not properly detangled, the curls will not turn out as smooth.
As you can see, I'm beginning my Bantu knot. I don't know how to explain it. You saw how I did it, so you just <laughs> look closely. So that's one section done, thousand more to go. I repeat the same process. the same thing that I do, moisturizing my hair with water, moisturizing with the cream, splitting the sections and then twisting it up. After twisting it up, then I do the Bantu knotting. As you can see, when I'm doing the Bantu knot, I twirl the twists before wrapping it around. With that method, the head turns out more coily and curly. Here in the front, you can see what I what I was talking about. I twirl it before I wrap it around. I twirl and I wrap. I twirl and then I wrap. So now finally I'm done and this is how it looks like when everything is done. Sleeping on this was not as difficult as I thought it would be. It's been a long time since I actually did Bantu Not Out and I think back then I was making them too tight, that's why I couldn't sleep. To take down the Bantu Not Out, I'll make sure that my hand is lubricated with the olive oil so that it doesn't create frizz. Look at that shine guys, look at that curl. Ooh, look at how bouncy the curls are. <laughs> I was so excited. The scarf on my head is to lay my edges, okay? So that my edges will also lay them flat. I didn't add any gel, it's just cream. My regular moisturizers that I apply to my edges just to lay it flat. When unraveling the twist, I make sure to unravel in the opposite direction that I twisted. Does it make sense? So that it unravels easier. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to create frizz. I mean, it took me time to twist all these things and I'm not about to mess it up by creating unnecessary frizz. So when unraveling it, I'm just careful not to break the curls too much to the extent that it looks frizzy. And it's very important, like I said, to take your time when un unraveling the ends because that's where it really shows if you don't take your time. Look at how excited I am. <laughs> Your girl was so excited.
So this is where I begin to separate the individual twists to give it volume. And of course here I also do, I twirl in the opposite direction so that I don't break the curls too much so that I don't create any frizz. And I only unravel as much as necessary and I try to unravel where the curls naturally want to separate so that like I said I don't create a necessary frizz. girl is so happy come on dad oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> and because I didn't have any tangles in my hair I didn't encounter any pulling which would have resulted in frizz because I'd have to separate the curls through the tangles and that would mess up that curl the curl in that section so that's why it's very important to make sure when you're doing this that your hair is very detangled properly detangled so that when you're taking it down it would you would get the result that you want i could separate it even more but i didn't want to cause too much frizz i mean i like this volume it's fine i like it like this and the longer i wear it the bigger the curls get so it's fine for me this is day one day two would usually be bigger As you can see, the hair hardly has any frizz. The curls are all pretty much intact, even to the ends. The ends are not frizzy. And to close the part in the back, I just shift the hair in place. I don't use any combs to do anything. I don't mind the parts actually showing, even if they did. So I just use my hand to shift the hair in place. So guys, that's it. This is how I do my Bantu Noda. That's the result. Your girl was feeling herself. Yeah, girl. Show them. Oh, look at the angles. Look at those angles, girl. <laughs> so now, guys, you have seen actually how I achieved, how I achieved this look, how I get my bantu knot out. Yeah, it is not that complicated. It is not that complicated, and you can replicate this look, even when your hair is not as long as mine. Even with medium length hair you can still recreate this look obviously this will turn out differently on you depending on the density of your hair and the length of your hair nonetheless give it a try if you're going to try it out leave it in the comment section below so that i know what you think and also let me know what you think do you think it looks good or do you think i could have done it differently or what are the steps that you do to achieve your bantu not out okay guys thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already turn on the post notifications so that you are notified when i upload my new video also check me out on instagram and see you again next week sunday with another video it is your girl oh, 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 yeah. it is your girl oh, yeah should I do that? Should that be my new outro? I don't know. No, it's a girl of fire. Bye bye. Mwah. Is it just me or when you get your hair done fresh, when you get your hair freshly done, you just feel yourself. You just feel your look. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I just love the way it turned out. I love the way it turned out. I can't stop looking at I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder here. Just looking at myself. Anyway, I'm done. I'm feeling myself. Yes, look at this hair. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling myself. Oh. Ha, ha, ha.